What's going on, YouTube fam? It's your boy, the beautiful black man, Brian. This is back in here with a YouTube video on the greatest boxer of all time. Not Muhammad Ali, not Sugar Ray Robinson, not Floyd Mayweather Jr., but Jake, the problem child, Paul. Yeah, before you dislike the video, guys, please give me a chance to plead my case. Don't forget to like the video or dislike it, but you gotta make sure you like it. Don't forget to comment below, guys, and tell me why you agree or disagree that Jake Paul is the greatest boxer of all time. Don't forget to cop some King Camara Brown Music t-shirts all my websites. The link will be in the description box below. And most importantly guys, please subscribe to my YouTube channel so I continue to give you guys more content on a regular basis. So without further ado, let's get on to the video. Guys, for you guys to get your pants too much of a bunch. I said greatest boxer. What did he say? What did you say? I said greatest boxer of all time. Really our time. Not the best, not TBE. The difference between great and the best. The impact Jake Paul has brought to this combat sports in general cannot be denied. Now a lot of people hate on Jake Paul are usually the same people who haven't done 20 push-ups today. They haven't even done 20 push-ups and are complaining about somebody else's success. Whether he had privilege, fame, money, resources, whatever, to take anybody that was 21, 22 years old and get him to the point where he can be a world champion of any kind, especially on, a, on like a, a world stage, in a matter of two years of training, says a lot. And Jake Paul puts in the work. A lot of people complain about other people's success and what they have and don't put in the work. Yes, there are plenty of boxers out there, even amateur boxers, that are far more skilled than Jake Paul is. In my honest belief, I feel like I'm better than Jake Paul, but my career isn't where his is at. And yes, he didn't get to leapfrog into the main stage, but guys, look, boxing's different than other combat sports. Boxing is a sport where many people pay to see you lose horribly than the pace that you win. That's why people you existed. For example, you watch football on Sundays to see your team win. You watch the basketball, you know, on Tuesday, whatever, to see your, your team win. You pay pay-per-view to watch people like Mayweather and McGregor get knocked out. In this case, Jake Paul, who knocked out Tyron Woodley this past weekend. At the time of recording this video, this is the Monday after Jake Paul knocked out Tyron Woodley. I did several videos over the course of the summer about the Paul, but you can check him out in the link below, and I'll put the cards up here as well, you might see him. I'm all for celebrities fighting. I'm a huge fan of hip hop, i said before, and you see a lot of rappers talk a lot of trash, they say a lot of stuff, and don't pull up and fight. Don't gotta get guns and shoot each other, they can just box it out. I mean, rappers don't even do that. Jake Paul, I guarantee, will fight any celebrity, especially ones that aren't just boxers. And if Jake Paul were to start boxing at a young age, he would be as great as any great boxer in his weight class today for sure. Because even though he's been training for two years, he's really, really good for a fighter that has only been training for two years. And people don't understand that fighting for like more than three rounds on a professional level is tough. It's not easy. I know a lot of professional fighters, a lot of them, including myself, they haven't fought more than five rounds professionally. That's basically because I do kickboxing and we have kickboxing for more than five rounds, right? I even fight kickboxing for five rounds yet. <laughs> so this guy in the sixth round gets a knockout over a former UFC fighter that has fought five round title fights. I'm pretty sure five round fights to decision, if I'm not mistaken, right? It takes a lot. You can't fake it. No matter how much money or fame or whatever you have, getting inside that squared circle and duking it out on that kind of stage at that level, you cannot fake that. You can't buy that. You have to really want to do that. It has to come from here. And a lot of you guys watching this do not have that. Yes, he's privileged, he has some sex, but he didn't grow up rich, he had to earn that. Yes, he's white, and he's a beautiful black man, I get it. Hey, come on, bro, that's enough. Come on, come on. And like he said, you know, uh, Jay Paul said some people had Muhammad Ali, then they had Mike Tyson, they might have Floyd Mayweather, and now we got Jake Paul. And I honestly believe, in the future, probably like, you know, three years, he might get a big title fight, which he'll lose. You know, I don't think he's gonna improve that much. Probably gonna lose, unless it's like a lower tier, like champion. But you'll still be phenomenal for somebody to do that, who's be on Disney Channel. So in summary, 
reason why I think Paul is the greatest boxer of all, of all time, which I don't fully mean that, right? I'll admit, I don't fully, fully mean that he's the greatest boxer of all time. But even though he had that privilege and that resource and that status, to, to do what he has done in the combat sports realm is still nothing short of remarkable. And it just shows that if you put in the work, you can change your life. Anyway guys, that's gonna wrap up my video on why Jake Paul is the greatest boxer of all time. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to comment below guys so you guys agree or disagree that Jake Paul is the greatest boxer of all time. Don't forget to cop some merch off my website. The link will be in the description box below. Most importantly guys, please subscribe to my YouTube channel so I can continue guys more content. It's your boy Brian Beezus, the wisest, most powerful of all nerds. I'll see you guys next time.